hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl angel from simply angel tia in this video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh snuggle sack so as you can see here it's already completed i kind of geared the colors towards a baby boy but you can do this in any colors that you want so i have this uh, blue here and this kind of purplish bluish color as a contrast for it okay now um i made this for a complete newborn so it's about 20 inches long I made it a little bit wider it does look a little bit wider on the video but it's not as wide in reality um, so I believe this is about 15 inches wide like this um, but that's pretty much it here so if you move it down then it goes all the way to where a baby's head would be so this is the little bit of a hoodie or a, a pouch here for the baby's head to go in um, and I also made it so you can fold it like this so that uh, if it's too hot or you just don't require the baby to be covered fully you can peel it back like that and the baby's head can rest right here and the body in the sack so i'll show you guys how the sack looks like so like i said i have the buttons that i put here they are more like a decorative buttons than um than functional and what i mean by that is if i peel it back like this they're actually not here so that they can close this section here the same thing on this side I just put them there because it kind of brings the contrast of the snuggle really uh, make it pop and uh, it's also an option for you by the way to just make it so that these buttons are actually functional but for me I chose to have it decorative like that and then this is the sack where the baby would go into so right here okay right there so that's how I made mine. So like I said, again, you make these things to either fit what your client wants or something that you prefer. Um, and also these edges here are sewn in shut. So as you can see, this is joined here by sewing it together. The same thing on the other side. So that's pretty much it here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make these in a very simple sample size. Um, and that way you can learn how to do this and if you're making gifts or just uh, you know making it to sell to your um, to your clients then um, this is hopefully an inspiration for you to do more baby stuff okay all right let's get started okay guys so before we get started these are the materials I use used for my project so as you can see this is the two colors that I used for the snuggle sack uh, this blue one they're both from um, impeccable uh, this blue one and this one but however I'll be showing you how to do the sample with just this color um, you will also need your crochet hook I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook which is a recommendation for my uh, medium uh, weight uh, yarn I'm also going to be using a darning needle this is to connect your part together as well as to sew in the buttons if you choose to have buttons for your snuggle um, a tape measure to be able to determine how wide or long you need your snuggle sack to be a scissors to cut your strands as well as a handful of buttons if you so choose to have buttons and of course you can choose um, buttons of your choice as well I just wanted to show you guys this one here these are cute handmade with love that I got from Amazon super super cute buttons all right so this is all we have uh, to get our project started so make sure you have your stuff and let's get started Okay guys, so to get this project started, we're going to start with a slip knot, just like that. And because I'm just doing a sample for this tutorial, we're going to do a chain of 30. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's my chain 30. Okay, and to start our first row, I'm going to flip my work this way and I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook the second chain from the hook and in the third chain from the hook in the back of the chain I'm going to do a double crochet just like that and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next stitch do a double crochet in the back of the chain and by the way, the back of the chain just makes your work nice and neat on this side. That's why I choose to do my work in the back loop like that. And um, so just so you, I can show you where you go into as well. These little bumps here is where you go into. Okay. 
So when you do your double crochet, you go into the back like so. When you do your double crochet stitch, okay? So you're going to do this until you get to the end of this row. And by the time that you do the last stitch in the uh, the last uh, stitch here, you should have 28 stitches all together. Okay, so I'll see you guys when you get to the end of this row. Okay guys, so that is the end of my first row here and it's just a simple double crochet stitch in the back uh, of the chain, of the foundation chain. And just to mention as well, for my actual snuggle sack, I did um, 60 uh, chains as my foundation chain. So the, it would be double the amount that I did on here, okay? All right, and you, of course you will do however wide you want based on the size that you're either looking to have or the client size of request, okay? All right, so to move on to our second row, we're going to chain two, turn my work this way, and then the very next uh, stitch after the chain two, I'm going to do a double crochet in the back loop of the stitch. So just like that. So this is how your the top of your stitch looks like. And you're just going ahead and doing your double crochet in the back of the loop instead of the in the back loop of in the back loop of the stitch instead of both. Okay. And you're going to of course do this again for the next uh, 28 stitches. Okay. So as you can see here. It's a very simple stitch. I don't like to do very complicated stitch because I like to do my projects to kind of be more for beginners. That way if you're learning and just trying to do very simple things and very fast things, this is a channel for you. Okay, so you'll go ahead and do that stitch until you get to the end. When you have one stitch left of this row, come back to the video and I'll show you how to finish off the last stitch and then turn your work and go on to row three. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so that's the end of our row two here. And I have one more stitch to go so and the reason I wanted you guys to come back on the final stitch is because what I do on the final stitch instead of going through the back loop only like so which is what we've been doing with the rest of the stitches in this final stitch I just go through both stitch like that both loops of that stitch that way it creates a more flat side on this side okay which also kind of mimics this side so that is the end of your row two and to do so row two is your repeat row so what you just did in row two is what you're going to repeat until you get the length that you're looking for so you do a chain two, turn your work and then just continue to work in the back loop beginning with the very first stitch right after your chain two so you're going to continue to do this until you have the number of rows that you're looking for okay so if i bring my actual work into camera here so the reason we're working in the back loop is if you can see it creates these ridges here this rib pattern and that's why we're working in the back loop as opposed to going through both loops what i did here for fun purposes was when i got to the blue color i actually just went through both loops just to create a little bit of a untextured pattern there so as you can see i did it a little bit different with this color except with the lighter color, I did the ridges so that I can have it look wavy as it does, okay? So if you look at the back of this, so let me flip it to the back. So this is how the back of the snuggler looks like. It's very nice, it looks very warm. This is a medium weight yarn, which would make this snuggler super warm and it's probably more suited for the winter, okay? So that's how it looks like. So what I did for this is I did 82 rows total and that is the full length of my whole snuggler and then you will fold it into three quarters in 
and then the remaining uh, uh, a quarter is pretty much for you to do the uh, the hoodie part so this part here so if I flip it back again so all the rows pretty much from here going all the way and coming around all the way back to here is 82 rows okay then when you have your really really long project then you fold it in like this so that you can you know fix the side sides here sew it together do whatever you need to do in terms of buttons or no buttons or just clean it all the way up or join it all the way up here and then the remaining quarter is for your hoodie part of this snuggler okay all right so i'll let you guys go ahead and work up the number of rows that you're looking for depending on how big you're making your snuggler when you get to that come back and i'll show you guys how i just folded and connected um so go ahead and do that come back to the video i'll show you guys how i finish it off and then you do the rest of it whether you want to add buttons and things like that on your own okay so i'll see you guys in a bit okay guys so i have completed the uh the sample here so as you can see this is just literally uh the rows of a uh, double crochet stitch um and i used the back i went in the back loop that's why you have these ribbles here Okay, so I pretty much went until I finished the uh, ball of yarn that I had showed you at the beginning of the video and that's how it looks like. So then in this case here, um, of course I didn't change the colors. Um, so if you're looking to do it in just solid color, it would look something like this, but obviously the proper size that you're looking to have, this is just a sample. Um, and so when you have the length that you're looking for and the length meaning from here to here, when you have that length, then it will come the work to put it together. So in this case here, um, you would just fold your um, piece like that. But before I go ahead and, and do that, so what I did in my actual um, snuggle sack here is when I finished my piece from this end here to the other end, I flipped my work around so what I did is see as, as I told you I ran out of yarn sorry this end I ran out of yarn here so I just stopped right there but what I do with the big piece is after I came did the last stitch here I went and turned my work like this and I did a row of half double crochet all until here and then repeated that for four rows and that is why I have this end like this that looks like this okay so this is pretty much four rows of half double crochet uh, on each side so i did that on this side as well as on this side here which in actuality would be four rows on this side on this side of your work and then you cut your yarn off you turn it and you go ahead and do four rows on this side as well I don't touch the beginning and the end because these sides look nice and neat. So the reason I did that is just to make it nice and neat on the edges as well. Okay. So now put that away. So now that I have that, all I did was just fold my work like this. So like I said, you fold it three quarters up like that. And then you fold the top in like that. And then you can move it just to adjust okay so when you have your work like this okay so this is how your sack would look like Let me turn it like this so this is how your sack would look like okay all right and then in my case I took a darning needle and I connected it from here to halfway up and the same thing here, I connected it from here to halfway up. And that's why I was able to leave this flapping up like this, okay, if you want to. But what I also did was the half that is not sewed and, and connected together to the bottom, I did four uh, buttons on this side, decorative buttons, and I did four buttons on this side as well. And then when it comes to the top, all I do is I just shut this space here from here to here by sewing it closed. Okay, so that is pretty much all you're doing with this project. So you should have something that would eventually look like this. Okay, so this is how your snuggler would look like at the end. Okay, 
and that's where you would put your baby so let me again put these away and bring the main project back in the one that's completed so that's what I'm talking about here so it's connected on this end here as you can see it's shut from here to here here and then the same thing on this side and then I have this part here that just flops in you will put your kid in here and they have you have the ability to put these on them to cover them more if they need more coverage let's say it's cold or you can just leave it open like this okay and then that's the hoodie part of the snuggler the baby's head will go in here so that they feel nice and warm if it's in, in a cold climate okay and like I said again this has the ability to just kind of fold back if you're not you know if you don't want your kid to have their head covered you just fold this back like this and the kid's head will be right here all right so that is pretty much it here I appreciate you guys staying on to the end of the video and I hope you guys will try these out I will probably do a few more of these just to try different patterns and different things like that this is my very first one that I designed and I decided to try it so hopefully you like it and um, yeah so we'll see you guys in my next video and I'll go ahead and do a lot more videos of this kind of stuff just so we can have different styles and different patterns in case you need to make gifts or even if you're making them for selling okay all right so i'll let you guys go from here thank you again for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so and make sure you hit not the notification bell make sure you comment if you have any questions and hit the like button and i'll see you guys in my next video okay ciao, ciao.